obviously, um, it does not forbid a candidate or an aspirant from receiving or bringing any money from abroad. What this section says specifically is that any political party is prohibits political parties from bringing money from abroad and um, sanctions them if they do that. The Electoral mm -hmm. Act now sanctions those people if uh, there's a political party and officers of the party who is uh, complicit in receiving money from abroad. Mm -hmm. So if Peter B is raising money from abroad or any candidate for that matter, technically speaking, the law does not forbid it. Because you know, the Constitution itself says for you to punish anybody for contravening the law, there must be a written law known, published, gazetted by the state. Now, there is no law prohibiting individuals from receiving money from abroad. There is the Constitution, the Grand Norm, the, the Supreme Law of the Land, which prohibits political mm. parties from receiving money from abroad. So, that so at least uh, we've heard, heard about it. And there's another lawyer again, I don't know, SAN, also who came out and said it is only the political party that is prohibited from taking funds from outside the country to fund their election. But the so-called uh, aspirants or an individual. Mm -mm. So all this Emilio uh, Kong and Tinubu so a group who are calling for the disqualification of Peter B. That means they don't even know what they are saying. I'm sure they want to turn it. They want to twist it. They want to do. And because I when I heard it, I was like, does it mean Peter B himself was not aware of this whole thing? <laughs> but I was like, I don't. Know. This man cannot be too daft to that level that will not even want to. You know he has been in government. That is what we are talking about. He has been in government. Even if he has not even been in government or if he didn't even know much. Now, a lot of people will be interested in him and he will want to seek knowledge on how to do things so that uh, these people will not just take him on our ways because all these uh, oppositions, uh, they are just looking for every loophole to just attack him. They've used every propaganda, but it's not working. Imagine how Peter will be a structureless party is shaking to the core. The entire political structure of Nigeria, they are already thinking of amending laws, laws caused by Peter B. have uh, effects. Now, imagine how he would change entire Nigeria when he becomes president. Hmm, they want to change the law. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, 100% they are all jittering. You cannot even take that for them. The Labour Party can organize the fundraising, give the money to someone who in turn give it to... They are candidates who is free to receive donations effectively. Nothing in the law stops the Labour Party from soliciting funds. The law merely says they cannot remit the money. The spirit of the law is preventing foreign interference in our elections. Nigerian citizens residing abroad are not foreigners. However, if the opponents of the Labour Party want to use technicality as a weapon, then Labour Party can use it as a shield. Nothing in the law precludes the candidates from remitting donated funds. Therefore, anyone including the party can raise the funds and hand it over to the candidates. Also, many Nigerians in the diaspora maintain local bank accounts in Nigeria from which they are able to make their contributions in Naira or Dollar. But see, um, they are not talking anything. No. See the reign of Dollar that happened during their primaries, APC and PDP. They are behaving as if they don't hear anything. I'm Buhari is coming out to tell us that, uh, you know what, oh, he's not going to allow anybody to intimidate other candidates and this and that. We don't saw this on our, on our story. Well, decision has to be drawn between Peter Obi and Labour Party as his son having toiled around the Nigerian constitution as amended and the Electoral Act. I quote Peter Obi as the legal right to receive donation from abroad. There is no written act to prejudice such action peter will be all the way nigerian belong to us not ancestors if the campaign laws have been there and are not being adhered to and they want to start implementing it now there's no problem but they should also start scrutinizing the source of wealth of every presidential candidate right from the time they got into politics they don't want to do that Right from the time they got into politics, we should remember that if the citadel of justice is corrupt, the body politics will rot in and collapse. Hmm. Yeah, this comment nailed it. Okay. Uh, you know, it's not that they want to walk. You see FCC, all of them, they will not want to walk. Like I've always said, if you are not in the book record of the government of the day, in fact, they, that is when you know that they know law. But if you are in their good record, like what Tinubu did during 2019 election, when two bullion vans were found in his house, no, they look the other. They looks the other way. Look, my people, you can't say fall a man that has got backing, and the backing of the people, it will be miracle come 2023.
Peter is the rock that will lead Nigeria from bottom to the top. I can see through Peter Obi, Nigeria will now follow the law and allow the constitution to be fully implemented. New Nigeria is really possible through Peter Obi. I wonder why everything about Peter Obi is giving the so-called structured political parties sleepless nights. They say obedience is not a threat. Now they are scared already. Labour Party all the way. This is what happens when you cut and paste laws from another country. Those countries allow their citizens abroad to vote and donate to parties no matter where they are. The point is to prevent other nations influencing domestic politics. Not Nigerians influencing domestic politics. We haven't even considered that some some of these uh, Nigerians are there temporarily. It is common sense. We are still in the first week of September and they are scared of the structure less obedient obedati union. Soon it will be vivid to them that Obidati is a movement and not just a political party. They are beginning to understand. <laughs> they are beginning to understand. All we just want is not a matter of uh, this. All we just want is a better Nigeria. A lot of Nigerians are suffering abroad. The ones that are, the ones in Nigeria, those ones say, mm -hmm. you don't even need to say, it's, it's, it's just there. The suffering is just an inbuilt one. It's just there by default. We are just born into that suffering. It's just for everybody, every, 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 everybody to be okay. To a very large extent, we always envy other countries. What can we even say that we can be proud of about this country? When you hear some things that are supposed to be done by these politicians who call themselves leaders, and they are not doing it, and you begin to say, okay, this is it. But things are not working, but you are doing it now. It becomes a problem. It, be so, it becomes a problem. And Okay, this is to prove the heightened tension in the camps. Of the enemies of Nigeria. Nigeria must arise and take a rightful place in the Committee of Nations. God be past them all. Constitution is applied when good intentions are about to come to realization. You see that that constitution it must be applied this time around to every candidate and in every way. I rest my case. When they created the law, they didn't even factor the Peter Obi. <laughs> Oh my God, APC has helped Peter Obi, a Labour Party by not being patient enough for them to commit before suing Labour Party to court. APC is really confused, jealous, critical, desperate, and lack of ideas. Labour Party can divert the funds to diaspora foreign establishments. Nigeria diaspora should please send donations through their relations, friends, and family members in Nigeria. <laughs> Nigeria wants a new Nigeria and the corrupt duo. Of Atiku and Tinubu cannot even take them there. Peter Obi phenomena represent hope and the words and change. So guys, let's hear your opinion and have your take on this. Thank you.